We believe in two official languages and in a pluralist society, not merely as a political necessity, but as an enrichment. We want to live in a country in which French Canadians can choose to live among English Canadians and English Canadians can choose to live among French Canadians without either group abandoning their cultural heritage. Pierre Elliott Trudeau, in a statement on the introduction of the Official Languages Bill, October 17, 1968. To most people, this seemed, at the time, like a reasonable and fair request, and potentially an ideal situation. The English with the choice to use English if and when they wanted to, and the French with the choice to use French if and when they wanted to. This seems to be what Mr. Pierre Elliott Trudeau was trying to convey in the previously mentioned statement. Yet, in what is a huge departure from the original concept of tolerance and acceptance of each other's language and cultures that was suggested by Mr. Trudeau, we are actually witnessing more of an attempt at dominance and control coming from many prominent Francophones at various levels and positions of power in Canadian society. What's more is that this blatant push for dominance and control by these prominent Francophones, as clearly demonstrated in the following clip, merely feeds a trend towards intolerance and vile bullying which is becoming more and more common. Mr. Speaker, enough is enough. 75% of our questions are put in French and answered in English. We know that the Parliamentary Secretary can speak French. He should either speak French, or they should find someone else to do it. What happened to, we believe in two official languages? Wasn't the original idea supposed to be all about tolerance and acceptance of each other's language and cultures? There certainly didn't seem to be a whole lot of acceptance and tolerance for the minister wishing to use his language of choice, English, coming from Ms. Turmel and the other NDP members loyally nodding in agreement with her in the background. <laughs> 